What's up guys, it's USA Specialist, and after a week with Battlefield's newest season, I'm enjoying what little there is. After a hectic first week, which saw Xbox consoles explode, dozens of new bugs be introduced, and the beginning of 2042's worst content drip yet, I could say I've at least had fun over the past few days. However, there is lots of caveats, so let's start there, cause I'd like to end this video on a high note, so hit subscribe and let's get into it. First off, let's talk about the elephant in the room. 2042 has had a content problem since day one, and season seven is perhaps the worst we've seen yet. After almost six months of waiting, we finally received two new guns, one new gadget, and one new map, which I believe is the smallest and relies heavily on recycled assets. Now, of course there is more coming at some point, but as of right now, I can only comment on what DICE has actually delivered. While the content so far is fun, like I'll talk about in a second, my biggest issue with the season is that DICE is writing an IOU when it comes to their content. They use multiple maps, three guns, a stealth bomber, and all these promises of new content to market their paid battle pass, but don't actually deliver what they're marketing. We just have to take DICE in good faith and believe we'll get the rest of this free content in the near future. DICE has been very deceptive with their marketing recently, even avoiding to show the new map stadium because they knew how fans would react to them calling it a new map. While in fact, it's essentially this game's third version of Hourglass, the worst map in the game. Aside from these bigger picture issues with DICE's strategy, Season 7 kicked off with a lot of major bugs, which keep piling up. For me personally, the infamous problem of Haven hard crashing players' consoles, mostly Xboxes, really ruined my first day with the new season. Both my Xbox friends experienced violent crashes and promptly uninstalled the game mere hours after updating. Are you are you good running with yours or is yours? Nope. Nope. I I started to <laughs> join the game. And uh <clears throat> yeah, to no. the load screen. Dude, my fucking console was free. All the lights were flashing and flickering. I'm like, okay, it's yeah, 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 time. Yeah. It's no, time I, to stop. Uh, now, the devs have already pushed out a hotfix for this issue, but it cost them a lot of trust within the community, something I talk about more in this video here. Aside from that disaster, fans have been very divided over the new visual recoil update. While I don't mind it, I do think it helps bring a lot of life into the game's appearance, but I understand it doesn't do anything to help the gunplay. My bigger issue is that it feels very subjective, where some guns are brutal, while others, like the K-30, are a laser beam. Add that inconsistency into the fact the game's recoil bug appears to have been reintroduced and the gunplay across the board is just in a rough state. There doesn't seem to be a lot of meaning behind what and why things are changing, and there isn't enough thorough testing to make sure it even works as intended. But that's enough of the bad, let's talk about some of the good. First up, while players seem very divided over the new map, I quite enjoy it. The best way I can put it is that Haven is not a good map. In fact, it's rather bad just a cluster of random copy-pasted buildings without any good lane design, and thus engagements can often be awkward. But on the other hand, this chaotic, messy, dense environment is certainly fun for sweaty players. With so many chances to use advanced movement like this, the map plays really fast and features a lot of opportunities for high-skilled players to get the jump on others. Granted, the flip side of this coin is that the map can often be filled with rats, and games can become very one-sided very fast with how violent and messy Haven can become. Now, I'll put out a full review later, but my first impressions are that Haven is a fun, hectic, infantry-focused experience where only the strong and sweaty survive. Ah! 
This chaotic density can scare a lot of lower skilled players into camping, and there are moments the map feels a little too small and a little too copy-paste with no real creative landmarks that make it feel like a battlefield environment. Next, while I'm still working my way through the battle pass, I can report that the SCZ is insane, and possibly my new favorite gun. I don't think SMGs needed the buff they got, but as a hardcore CQB player, that buff on top of an already good gun feels amazing, but will definitely need to be addressed sooner rather than later. Now as for the rest of the battle pass, I haven't gotten the paid version, at least not yet, but there are certainly some skins I'd be happy to wear, like the level 96 T28 cosmetic and the Harbinger skin for Angel. So overall, Season 7 is off to an okay start. What little content there is, is fun, but I can't help but feel like I'm getting shafted every time I boot up the game. Between my friends' consoles being wrecked, DICE's shady marketing, inexcusable bugs, and the fact we're still waiting for content Battlefield already advertised, Season 7 is fun at the moment, but is really setting itself up for long-term failure as it tries everything it can to irritate the player base. Stadium looks like fun, even though it's recycled. A new LMG will be a good addition. The Stealth Bomber is a genuinely interesting concept, but I can't say any of this for sure as we're forced to continue waiting. Again, Season 7 is fun, but is perhaps the shadiest yet, which is a shame after last season hit such heights. DICE seems to not care about how much they're pushing players' buttons, and I think they're setting themselves up for failure as this game begins riding off into the sunset over the next few months. But guys, drop your comments below and tell me how you're enjoying Season 7. For everything else Battlefield, stay tuned and subscribe, and as always, thank you guys for watching.